India needs to build 30,000 houses every day for the next 8 years to solve our housing crisis. Traditional construction methods simply cannot keep up with this demand. In today's episode, I'll show you how precast concrete technology can revolutionize government housing projects and why this creates a massive opportunity for factory owners like you. Did you know that traditional construction methods would take decades to solve our housing crisis? This isn't just a challenge, it's a massive opportunity for those of us in the precast industry. Let me start with the hard facts. According to Niti Aayog's 2024 report, India currently faces a housing shortage of 29 million units across both urban and rural areas. Think about what that number actually means. It's not just statistics. These are real families waiting for homes, real people living in inadequate housing conditions. To address this enormous backlog, India needs to construct approximately 30 to 35,000 houses every single day for the next 8 years. That's more than a thousand homes every hour. With conventional brick and mortar construction methods, this target is simply impossible to achieve. The traditional construction approach that dominates our industry comes with significant limitations. It's highly labor intensive, requires large teams of workers at every construction site. This becomes particularly problematic as labor costs continue to rise across India, with skilled construction workers becoming harder to find and more expensive to employ. The timeline difference is stark. when comparing conventional and precast methods for a standard two story residential buildings the difference is approximately 63 days that's over two months saved on a single small project now multiply that efficiency across thousands of projects nationwide and you begin to see why precast technology is essential to addressing our housing crisis what makes this situation even more urgent is india's rapid urbanization Every day more people migrate from villages to cities in search for better opportunities. This continuous population shift puts tremendous pressure on our already strained urban housing infrastructure. The shortage isn't static. It's growing more severe with each passing year. This is precisely where precast concrete technology enters as a game changer. The key advantage lies in the parallel workflow it enables. While site preparation and foundation work proceed at construction locations, The actual building components are simultaneously being manufactured in controlled factory environments. This overlap in activities dramatically compresses the overall construction schedule. I've seen this transformation firsthand. In Maharashtra, a government housing initiative utilized precast technology to construct 512 housing units in just 12 months. The project managers estimated that using traditional construction methods, they would have extended the timeline to 30 months, two and a half years longer. This was in a small scale experiment. It represents the real world impact of embracing precast methods at scale. Beyond speed, the quality advantages cannot be overstated. When building components are manufactured in factory settings, they undergo stringent quality control processes, impossible to implement at conventional construction sites. The controlled environment produces consistently high quality elements with significantly fewer defects. The precision of factory production also means better fitting components and stronger overall structures. These quality improvements translate directly to reduced maintenance requirements over the building's lifespan. For government housing projects, this means fewer long-term costs and more durable housing stock. The controlled factory environment also shields production from weather-related delays and quality issues, ensuring consistent output regardless of monsoon seasons or extreme heat. For us in the precast industry, this national housing challenge represents an unprecedented business opportunity. The government needs partners who can deliver housing units at scale with speed and quality that conventional methods cannot simply match. Factory owners who position themselves to meet this demand will find themselves at the forefront of India's construction revolution. The math is compelling. If even 20% of the required 29 million housing units were built using precast technology that represents nearly 6 million precast structures for factory owners this translates to years of consistent predictable demand the kind of business stability that justifies significant investment in facilities and equipment Despite the compelling opportunity that precast construction offers a critical barrier has prevented its widespread adoption in India financial viability setting up precast factories requires significant capital investment often several crores of rupees this substantial upfront cost makes the initial price difference of approximately 13 lakh rupees per project seems 
insurmountable for many developers and factory owners. But here's what's changing everything. Recent government initiatives are fundamentally altering this financial equation. The Union Budget 2025 introduced the Viability Gap Funding Scheme, a game changer that covers up to 40% of the project costs for developers including affordable housing units. This direct financial support transforms previously low margin affordable housing projects into attractive business opportunities for private sector participants. Think about what this means in practical terms. A developer previously hesitant to invest in precast due to the thin profit margins can now access government funding that dramatically improves the project's financial viability. The VGF scheme specifically targets the financial risks that historically made affordable housing unattractive to private investors, effectively bridging the gap between conventional and precast construction costs. This isn't happening in isolation. The VGF is part of a broader government strategy to address India's housing shortage through the Housing for All initiative under the Pradhan Mantri Awaz Yojana. This ambitious program targets the construction of 20 million affordable houses, creating exactly what precast factory owners need most: consistent, predictable demand. For factory owners considering investment in precast technology, this government commitment represents something invaluable: market stability. The PMAY initiative extends beyond its original 2022 deadline, providing a sustained pipeline of projects that makes securing financing easier and ensures long-term profitability for precast manufacturers. Public-private partnerships have emerged as perhaps the most powerful framework accelerating precast adoption across India. In these arrangements, the government brings crucial elements to the table: land, streamlined approvals, and guaranteed purchase agreements meanwhile the private sector contributes technological expertise and operational efficiency consider the successful ppp model implemented in gujarat where the government provided not just land but also guaranteed the purchase of 5000 housing units this certainty allowed factory owner to secure financing with confidence and achieve profitability from the very beginning of operations the arrangement effectively neutralized the primary risk that previously deterred investment in precast facility the government's sustainability push is creating additional tailwinds for precast adoption smart city initiatives and transit oriented development projects now incorporate stringent sustainability requirements water neutrality renewable energy adoption and circular construction practices these parameters naturally favor precast construction which generates less waste and offers superior energy efficiency compared to traditional methods This shift in policy doesn't just benefit the environment it enhances investor confidence as sustainability becomes a cornerstone of infrastructure development PPPs become more attractive as a model for expansion further boosting demand for precast construction methods the financial support mechanisms go even deeper the government is implementing blended finance models specifically designed to reduce private sector risks in precast projects The budget 2025 introduced innovative measures including sovereign funds, multilateral financing options and specialized long-term debt instruments to support infrastructure development. A particularly noteworthy development is the 1 lakh crore infrastructure development fund announced in 2025 which offers low interest loans at just 7.5% for PPP led projects. These financial mechanisms accelerate the funding cycle, ensure smoother financial transmission, and encourage greater private participation in both housing and infrastructure development. For factory owners, these government policies represent a fundamental shift in the business landscape. Projects that were previously financially unfeasible due to high initial costs now make economic sense when government support is factored in. The risk profile of precast investment has been dramatically improved through guaranteed demand, land provision and favorable financing terms. So, where does this leave us? With government backing and growing industry recognition, precast concrete construction represents more than just a building method. It's becoming a cornerstone of India's sustainable urban development strategy. The converging interest of public need and private opportunity create an unprecedented moment for factory owners willing to align with national housing goals. Those who step forward now, building relationships with government agencies, adapting their operations to policy frameworks, and positioning themselves as a solution partner rather than mere suppliers, will establish themselves as essential players in India's construction evolution. 
This isn't just about surviving in business. It's about thriving by solving one of the nation's most pressing challenges. Thank you for joining me today. If you found value in this episode, please subscribe and share it with your network. Stay curious, stay inspired. I'll catch you in the next episode.